folks, the state of Florida is something else. It appears that when a state attorney or attorney general screws up a case and throws it in the case of uh, George Zimmerman or over prosecutes in the case of Maritza Alexander, nobody really gives a damn. But when you have an attorney who decides that there have been too many minorities, blacks, Hispanics, etc., who have been over prosecuted and that the death penalty in Florida is being meted out unjustly to the majority of people who are minorities and that she wants to take a stand against it, all of a sudden red flags go up, whistles start getting blown, and all kinds of uh, politicians uh, want to get involved. Now, this is a picture of Aramis Ayala, Florida State Attorney. Now, I don't know if she's part Hispanic, but she looks black to me. But then again, she could look Hispanic as well. Doesn't matter. This state prosecutor made a conscious decision that she was no longer going to seek the death penalty in cases. Now, she didn't say that she wasn't going to prosecute the cases. She didn't say that she wasn't going to try to uh, go after people and put them in jail for a life, which is always an option uh, when you have uh, any type of a murder or a heinous crime case. But she decided that she wasn't going to go full bore. And for whatever reason, Governor Rick Scott decided to get involved in this. And in a case that uh, she was prosecuting, he decided to remove her, which we don't know if that's legal or not. Okay, and that is being, I guess, arbitrated or is going to be uh, fought in the uh, court system. But just to let you know that everything's not equal, in order to take punitive action against uh, this woman, the legislature has decided to reduce her budget by $1.5 million. Now, why is that? That basically is to show her that she has to stay in her place and that if she doesn't agree or go along with how the legislature and the governor uh, feels that she should, i.e. Uh, putting people to death, that uh, there are going to be uh, consequences. Now, don't get me wrong. In the particular case that uh, they took her off of, the crime was heinous. Uh, this guy basically killed his ex-girlfriend, who I believe was pregnant, and I think it was her sister as well. And in my opinion, yes, that is heinous. But she made a decision that she was not going to seek the death penalty. Now. Now, I take that back. It was not the sister of the uh, pregnant ex-girlfriend. I believe it was a police officer. And that may be part of the reason why everybody is jumping up and down and going crazy. Because any time a police officer is killed, the person that committed that particular crime, um, all politicians or the majority of politicians and the public always scream for the death penalty. So that probably had a lot to weigh in here. But my issue is this. We always complain when we don't see people of color in the prosecutor's office. Now, the prosecutor's office has a lot of latitude on what they want to do. And that is well known. But in this particular case, her latitude to decide what she wanted to do was taken away from her. Now, she's not in an appointed position. She was elected. She is the first black uh, state attorney elected in the state of Florida. So she's a landmark person. 
And I believe that they want to make an example of this person, again, to let people of color know that they can only go so far, they have only so much latitude, even though legally they have the same amount of latitude as their white counterparts. We need to do something about this. Now, th there was a rally, I believe, uh, in, for her benefit at the uh, state capital of Tallahassee down in Florida. And again, this is probably going to go uh, into the uh, judiciary to make a determination on whether the governor's action was legal or not. Now, as far as uh, the legislature cutting her uh, budget, she might be able to sue to get her dollars restored. But if she doesn't get that $1.5 million restored, she's going to have to let go approximately 15 attorneys. So much for uh, justice in the state of uh, Florida.